So your process, which I love, is to start with figuring out what type of problem it is. And I think this is really important because there's a lot of different types of problem. It could be the team member, it could be with their performance, it could be something else. Um, so what are the the examples of the categories, if you will, of the types of problems? Yeah. So, uh, you know, it's it's funny. When I started leading a team of people, you know, that was that was one level of responsibility. And then you start leading other leaders. And part of the reason I put some of this stuff down on paper is because when you get to the point where you're leading leaders, like right now I lead about 30 other leaders, uh, I need to teach them how to do this stuff, mm. you know? And so, uh, uh, you know, a while back, I just, I just got pen and paper and started saying like, okay, what, you know, what are the problems that you experience, you know, in, in a work environment? And, and sometimes they're really simple things like showing up late, you know, and, and other times, you know, they can, they can be, you know, quality of work related, or, um, or they can be, you know, um, emotions coming out weird ways at work, right? So, um, I, I think we'll mention later we're gonna have it. We're gonna have a download, right, where people can get access to to all the stuff that we're talking about. But the the uh, the categories I've got that I put together are, are basically, you know, emotional. Uh, you, you know, this is a list of problems uh, that are that are designed to help you kind of put your finger on what is the issue that's going on with a team member. And that, you know, some of the categ categories are emotional, communication, you know, professionalism, quality of work, their productivity, you know, whether they're creating an unsafe environment for other people that they're working around, you know, th things like that, mm -hmm. right? And, and if you can actually, as a leader, if you can actually look at a list, a lot of times it'll connect with you and you'll say, oh, that's what's going on. Yeah. There's a lack of professionalism that's happening here. That's good. Or there's a there's a there's an emotional thing that's happening here that's inappropriate for the workplace. I really like that you've broken this out into eight to ten things. It, it's more uh, granular than just hard skills and soft skills. I also like that when you key in on that one thing, um, there's often room to give people credit for the other eight things that are going well. Right. You know, but if it feels like this is all encompassing of their entire career, it gets really heavy really fast. Right. Yeah. Uh, yeah. And, and, you know, you, I, I think you got to be careful in an uncomfortable conversation that you do mix the positive uh, with the critical feedback. But one of the mistakes that oftentimes get made is, you know, you'll schedule a 30 minute meeting with somebody and you spend 28 minutes talking about mm -hmm. all the, all the good things they do. And then like, basically drop a bomb on them in minute 29 and you're like, oh, and we're out of time, you know, and, and you got to go. And so, uh, I, I totally agree with the idea of like, you know, it, it is good to remind people the good stuff that's happening and the, and the right things that they're doing. Um, but you want to make sure in a conversation with somebody that you're actually dedicating like the vast majority of the time to, uh, you know, to dig into, the, the issue at hand, you know, cause the number of times over the years and the, it's like personal fail, you know, I look back at my own personal failures on this topic and the number of times that I, I, I bet that I had what I thought was an uncomfortable conversation with somebody. And when they walked out of the room, they either didn't know what just happened or they thought I was just being encouraging. <laughs> right. Uh, because I, I so didn't want to like trigger the fear or shame. I've totally done you that. Know? Where I was uncomfortable the whole time yes. and they thought everything's good and, then I'm like, we have to have another meeting. And I'm uncomfortable right. the whole time until we have the next meeting. <laughs> I am 100% guilty of that. That has definitely happened. Well, and that's that's what happens when you make that uncomfortable conversation about you. Mm. Right? Like, I am so worried that I am going to, uh, uh, you know, hurt this person. I am so worried that I'm, I'm, I'm going to, you know, do something uh, inappropriate in this conversation that I'm, I'm so jammed up inside my own head uh, that I don't actually give the person what they need to be successful, you know? And I don't know if, if that's the case for everybody, but I got to tell you, that's, that's probably the biggest personal hurdle for me is I got to stay focused on helping them, not being obsessed with me. 